Nelson Cruz returns to Minnesota for the first time since being traded to the Tampa Bay Rays and gets a nice ovation, very nice reception, and then reminds us that, oh, he kills the Twins. <laughs> it's a home run in his second plate appearance. Has a little fun with Miguel Sonolo later on. Uh, just nice to see him again overall. And it's kind of funny, the guy who probably benefited most from Cruz being traded, Brent Rooker, hit this home run and also had uh, three more hits. It was a four-hit night for him. You can see here his exit velocity is just crushing the ball was Brent Rooker. Michael Pineda left this start uh, for the Twins with uh, some side issues. It sounds like he's going on the IL. And, oh, by the way, Louis Sorp was the starter uh, for the Saints. And he's kind of on his way back from a shoulder issue coming off the IL. This was his fourth appearance since uh, being shut down. Uh, so he's ramping back up. And he looked really good. He pitched five and two-thirds innings for the Saints, struck out five, uh, was really uh, pounding the zone, throwing tons, as you can see from this highlight, tons of these slow curveballs, and his changeup was looking really nice. Probably as comfortable as I've seen him with his changeup. Um, there was one of them right there. And then pumping in some high fastballs, which you see there, which that's, you know, formula that's working for a lot of guys. You know, we think of Bailey Ober before that, Jake Odorizzi. Um, Joe Ryan's a guy in the system who works that for So, you know, Lewis Thorpe's certainly tried that in the past as well, but, um, you know, I'm showing you some full plate appearances here to show you he's maybe the field's not back completely. You saw not that one, but the one before that, a curveball he kind of left out there. Uh, so certainly knocking off some of the rust, but it's pretty convenient if Michael Pineda is going to miss some time here that it appears that Lewis Thorpe, not fully back to full strength yet. Uh, but I think, uh, they could certainly turn to him, for a rotation help if Pineda is going to miss some time, which it sounds like he is going to be going to IL. Yenier Cano had a bit of a rough time, but he got the save in this game. Uh, so he gave up three hits, and uh, you can see runners on second and third here with one out. He gets a strikeout, gets a second strikeout. You may see the velo. He's thrown 91-92. You think, oh, I thought he threw harder than that. Yeah, that's his splitter. <laughs> that's his splitter. He throws 96-97 with his fastball. Uh, again, he wasn't uh, real clean in this one, but he got the job done. Uh, love Ben Rortvedt here, <laughs> pumping up his pitcher after they, they got out of it. Uh, Matt Walner hit a laser beam home run on a, off a lefty, ended up being the go-ahead and game-winning home run in the seventh inning. Uh, and here we have Keone Cavaco. We don't get to see a lot of Fort Myers on MILB.TV because uh, their home games aren't broadcast, so I figured I'd show this nice little two-run single that he hit in their game. But thank you so much for checking this out. If you enjoy this, please subscribe. I'm trying to do this every day right now. So appreciate all the support I can get from all you guys watching this and uh, leaving comments and, and likes on these. Uh, so tune back in tomorrow.